I'm Jim Holmes, and you're watching Rust Cam. Hi, I'm Russ Festino, and this is another edition of Russ Cam. This one from a very exciting conference called Code Mash up in Ohio, Sandusky, Ohio. This is the Kalahari Resorts, and it is a phenomenal place. They got an indoor uh, water park, uh, but the real buzz is the conference attendees are just. Uh, Love the content, love the presenters. My understanding is this conference sold out in 20 minutes. From the get-go, five guys at a restaurant in Seattle mm -hmm. <laughs> haven't talked about this. It was PHP guy, .NET guy, Java guy, you know. It was all it there you always go. been the mission yeah. to bring all of those different domains, the different platforms yeah. together. Um, that's pretty. This is an amazing conference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you were saying it's a lot. Of, uh, all stems from a lot of real world experience, which is another key. It is, you know, to, to the content. Most of these talks are around those pragmatic, yeah. real world things, and Not that's normal. that's why. We get the cool core here, you know. I'm a Microsoft MVP in Visual Basic, and I'm also the author of the On VB column in Visual Studio Magazine. Active Reports is, is very, very good. Active Reports, I believe, is the most advanced of the uh, end user reporting tools that are out there for developers. Uh, so, definitely uh, on the high end, um, it's still easy to use. Um, I've uh, used uh, SQL uh, Server Reports, I've used uh, DevX X Reports, I've used Telework Reports, and uh, uh, I would say the Active Reports definitely compares uh, very favorably to those choices. When I want to do something custom, I want to do something really cool for my uh, end user, I have the tools there to do it. I don't have to kind of, you know, clue something together. So it's a very rich API and I really enjoy that API. I've been coming to CodeMesh since the second year and it, you know, every year it just grows so much uh, more. The um, session you just did was great. Uh, Thank you. Why don't you uh, talk about that a little bit? Sure. We were talking about what's new in Windows 7.5. And there's a lot that's new and a lot that's very exciting with the 7.5 fast application switching and background agents, background audio, uh, forward facing camera support, IE9 support, yeah. just it goes on and on. We're hoping that all of the Windows 7 applications out there will yeah. convert over to 7.5 and to fast application switching. And doing that conversion is not terribly difficult and it makes a huge difference in the user experience of being able to quickly go from one application to another. We use Active Reports. You do? Yeah, oh, we love man. it Oh man, that's it's, great. We find it a very easy product to use, very good. It has a light learning curve and yet it's very powerful. So we like combinations like that. Yeah. It's a technology that works for us, not the other way around. Wow. And we can get in there and we can be very productive in a short period of time. Um, our output is something that represents our company. We show it to um, our customers in a way that makes the company look good. That's very important for us in our line of work. I'm with an insurance company. Yeah. And when you sell insurance, sometimes the only thing that they'll see of the company are things like the printouts they walk away with as they leave. So it's very important that these things look good and represent the company well. And Active Reports is a powerful tool that helps us do that. It has a great user interface, it's feature rich does many things that we need it to do. Code Mesh is a great time. Yeah. For anyone who's never been, we definitely recommend you take it, take at least one year and go to Code Mesh because it's something that will open up your eyes, it will change your point of view. Our claim to fame is that we repair our members' computers for free. That's it. And that's it. This episode of Rust Camp is brought to you by Spread from Grape City Power Tools. So Carl. Yeah, Richard. You ever embed Excel into an application? Oh, you know, that's right up there with sticking ice picks in my ears. Nice. Because your end users have to have the right version of Office and all of that stuff, yeah. and it has that extra layer of dependency. What I want is just a way to take all that Excel goodness and plop it right into my .NET application. Well, you reminded me of Farpoint Spread from the old days. 20 years ago, yeah, no I used kidding. Farpoint Spread. But now, of course, it's Grape City Power Tools spread. Spread.net from Grape City Power Tools. Smarter components for smarter developers. Go to gvtv.gcpowertools.com, your online source for developer news. Plus, follow us on Twitter and Facebook.
Bay Computer Society. Yeah, it was already going for almost 20 years when I uh, really uh, when I came on. Yeah, it started. The group has started, I believe, in it goes back to around 83, 84. And how many members do you have? Uh, we are at 1,300 members. Wow, that's great. Um, uh, we had we were as high as 1,800 back yeah. in the heydays. We used to have 400 to 600 people come to a meeting, a monthly meeting. Uh, it was very cool. I, I mean, uh, we had two microphones, one on each side of the room, and people would step up to the microphone and say, I got this new product called Quicken, and I can't get it to do something. And somebody <laughs> else would stand up and say, meet me in the corner, and yeah. I'll straighten you out. You know, and It was very, very cool. Our claim to fame is that we repair our members' computers for free. That's it. That's it. Tampa Bay Computer Society. How'd you enjoy the session tonight? We talked about Movie Maker. Russ, you, 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 from the first time I saw you teach, you are an awesome teacher. Oh, thank you. I learned in an hour and a half tonight, this was the right speed for me. Because I was like, oh, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. You do an excellent job. It was very good.